What's up guys, welcome to Madhouse. Today we got Stark here, taking over the place quietly. We're gonna test out these bikes, put them to the compound, give you our honest feedback, so stick around. I've never seen one in the, oh, I have seen it in the flesh. I've never ridden one though. Silent beast. So I have two MX setups and then a rear handbrake setup as well. Nice. For a lot of the professionals, they like the MX setup. Handbrake's sure. cool, but if you get yourself into a situation where you're looking for your rear brake and Subconsciously, yeah, huh? You're gonna look for it, so. Not having weird to do it first. Yeah. Uh, like, not having a clutch and not having a shifter to hook onto was really weird oh, in the first few laps. For sure. Yeah, no yeah. shifter to hook onto it. Like, little like, stuff you never think of, like, when you go into a turn, you have to think about your shifter hitting the ground, like, which mm -hmm. I never thought we knew that, but, like, subconsciously, you definitely do. Like, you can just dump your fucking bike down on the left side and just Yeah, you eat. know there's a certain angle yeah. you can get to that. Yeah, they turn really good, too. And, and when I rode the e bikes last time, I subconsciously was going for the foot brake, but I've ridden them enough now where I'd Notice I'm using the handbrake, but for sure I'd want to go back this way. Yeah, yeah, it's here for you to try for if you if you Lost want it. to. It's just yeah. <laughs> I, I went out and I didn't realize the power was like 20 lower, and I almost went down a turning. Like I went to like power out, and it wasn't there. Uh, but dude, the power difference is huge, like between the settings. They, again. they might be silent, but they still have the dangers of dirt bikes. So. <laughs> yeah. I get cross jumped on the jumps at Paula. I get they don't hear you coming. Yeah, I know. Oh, oh yeah. I fully do. The dude on the main double at Paula yesterday. Like, I mean, he crossed jumped hard, but he just had no idea I was there. Yeah. Like literally, we like landed on me. Like we hid. Like somehow we both stayed up. Oh, you guys hit. Oh, he was coming up. I'm like. Ah! Only thing you heard was you screaming. Oh, he heard me screaming once we were in the air. Then he looked over. But I mean, yeah, I wanted to be mad, but I mean, he crossed jumped. He had no idea I was there. We need a horn on these things. That'd be sick. A horn, air horn. Ready to rip this thing right now? Are you gonna ride this? Yeah. How do you turn on? You can light it, you can start it. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, boom. Do you, get, do you have to hold it? So you have five Rock bones here that we can set up. Here's your horsepower bar. You can slide it from 10 horsepower all the way up to 80. Yep. And then engine braking from zero all the way up to 100%. 80 feels like a 450. Uh, 50 is in between a 450 and a two stroke. 25 is a two stroke. Or you 69. 69, 69. And then Boom. You save. Magic number. <laughs> It won't go anywhere it's at that horsepower. It's just gonna spin. I think you should put a helmet on, Amy. <laughs> He's fine. No helmet? Yeah. I don't like riding like that. Like gnarly fast, really, really fast. Yeah, I've ridden like a couple of electric bikes and some that are like souped up, but nothing like this. That's like next level, huh? Yeah. yeah. You just know, like, you come in the corner and you're like, oh, I need to be gentle on the throttle here because it's going to just explode the back tire. Yeah. Like, wheeling, like rollers and stuff is kind of tough. Like, not looping out. The brakes, yeah. yeah like, so, the regen braking that you can turn up helps a lot with that stuff. Like, so you got to play with both those settings and make a big difference. Tucker's the guy for that. Ninja like reflexes. Comes with grab holes. Dude. It does. <laughs> Tiny little grab holes. <laughs> FMX approved. Yeah, hey, there's much, no. Not much work. The body line is so slick. There's no like little joints that you can get caught on. Okay, so I'm gonna ride the moto. Set up Stark. Pat's riding one that's set up for the ramps right now. He's doing a great job over there, so I'll just let him do that. But I'm gonna go test this. Uh, not a huge moto track, but some tight turns. And I think, you know, they say these things are heavier, but I'm gonna see how, how it behaves in the really, really tight stuff. And I'll see open it up where I can. But yeah, I'm gonna go have a play. I'll let you guys know exactly what I think of it. Good, feels good. I was gonna wait till they're kinda, I wanna like hit it a bunch in a row, not like have to wait. Yeah. Well, they say when they well when I flip the electric bike, you don't have to pull as hard because you can speed the rotation up with the yeah. throttle in the air a lot.
Hey, it's crazy. It. It's got a fan going. Yeah. <laughs> it's not too bad because I've ridden the electric bikes enough to figure it out, but that was insane. So zippy, like to full power to like zero power, no clutch involved, no braking, no gear changes. It just speeds up that that switch from like full power to full braking. Handbrakes, handbrakes not too bad. I think it's like anything, if you're used to it for a mountain bike guy to get on one of these, I'd feel so at home more than they would on a regular dirt bike. For a regular dirt bike person, if you get used to the handbrake, it has a lot of advantages, I feel like. It doesn't matter which way you turn, you got your brake there. Um, in this tire stuff, what I notice is that it's way faster than a regular 450 just because all you're doing is transitioning from side to side and the power's always there. There's no chance of like in the really tight stuff stalling. You can just always carry the speed. And then 80% power, right? You're not 100 right now? Oh, uh, I'm at um, I'm at 50 horsepower. So it's got 30 more horsepower, right? Can you yeah, can you yeah I think it would be easy. It's just the wind's so bad right now. Do you want to do one in the pit? Not really, it looks scarier than doing it to dirt. <laughs> <laughs> Mom said what? Done. I'm done? Yeah. She's uh, like, need a little water on the landing. Can I tell your father yeah. he's done? Yeah. <laughs> need a little water on the landing for that, huh? You tell mom that dad said one more. <laughs> yeah. Oh! Dude. Dang. He Brutal. got me too, that's all good. Yeah. New pants. This looks like a new jacket. I thought you yeah, styles. <laughs> Enough? I'm gonna listen to my wife and my son. You know what? I just haven't got the feel on this bike yet to like know that point. Yeah. He's all different. Hey! Man. You got no knobbies, dude. You can't throw up any rear sticks. <laughs> Six to the start. Yeah. And they make a smaller one. Yeah, then you make one your size, huh? Yeah. You can rip it too. Also, standing up, going through rollers, if you do get too much and go to loop it, you don't have to re reach forward for the brake. You can just grab yeah. it in your hand. It's good well, for wheelies. Totally good for wheelies. Yeah. yeah, I've been out to like ride that thing with a handbrake. It's, uh, it's actually faster to ride with the handbrake. There's a lot more control ability that you get, gain with the handbrake because you don't have to, you can have your feet in all different positions on the pegs, waiting it for different scenarios and still being able to brake where normally you wouldn't be, you'd have to sacrifice braking to get your weight position, which slows you down. So it's quicker to ride the bike with going back and forth with the handbrake. It's awesome, everything, I, I like it so far. So I'm not really gonna like, like give a consumer stuff. report on it, yeah. like, but it's sick, it's fast. I think it whips pretty good, which is what I'm worried about. Mm -hmm. My main thing is quarter pipe, I think, is where it's going to really shine and help my career. So I'm kind of thinking in terms of my my future, not the Stark future, even though they are the future. You think, huh? Yeah. <laughs> hey, the only thing like I felt that was sketch was like just you can't hear it. 
Right, like when I come up on you, like when I was closing I in on you and yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> but when we when I ran it in on you and that. When we're close to each other, without visually seeing you, just don't know. I got I cross jumped hard yesterday yeah. because yeah, I mean, need like a little horn or something. Yeah. Or everyone needs to be on them so, so you can yell at each other. But that is the only is thing like that like. Maybe they can develop something where they talk to each other where there's like a little, I don't the know. Vi yeah, they vibrate or there's a noise or something just to like let you know that something's coming up. Man, the gasoline guys are gonna go hard on that comment. <laughs> I'm just saying for safety, like if you're riding, you don't know who's closing in on you no. until you see him. Until we're in the air, I'm looking that's over at the dude. The, the biggest flaw I can, not the flaw, well, the biggest thing I can see as far as a just problem posing issue that we need to like address is, is that. Other than that, they're pretty freaking awesome. It's scary. It's just you have to ride it a little bit different yep. than a motorbike. You do, but it's not like. When you're going up the ramp, I still have power at the top because I'm not running out of gear, but you're still like geeing out. It doesn't feel that much different. It's yeah. just at the very top, once you're unloading, you can still feel it pulling. Like that's the big difference on the ramp for me so far. But I'm also on softer stuff than usual too. So. I noticed that and I just think like sometimes the, the power delivery can catch you out. Like yeah. when I was doing a, not that this is on a track, but I was doing a burnout and it was spinning and then when it grabbed, it was I don't, honestly, just a lot of force coming out of it yeah. that can catch you out like just that, through the rollers like I said you're trying to stand through rollers and like be on it's yeah. like you can get you be like coming to the corners and breaking traction and then when it catches again it's like it's a little bit it's a bit different but I know it's like the center of gravity if you like really plant your toes down on the pegs it kind of feels like a lot different like if you're really planted on the pegs on the track versus just like kind of sort of like on your toes like really being on the pegs is a big difference on that bike because it's all flat right there yeah so if like you're really placed on your feet it feels way different like really good I yeah i found it up. very like nimble tight like in the tight stuff it was good yeah, it's so good turns. fast fast it turns so good because it doesn't want to stand up because yeah. there's nothing there's no piston going back up so you can just stay over and then just use the power like yeah there's a tricky little rut over there that's like it's hard to get into on a, on a dirt bike and sometimes it pops out and every time it nailed it on easy thumbs up from me whatever goes higher in quarter pipe that is guaranteed to go higher in quarter pipe <laughs>